So to err is human, but to really screw up, you need a computer. And that's why you need a backup. So I know you have a great backup system that backs up all the files in the file server. It checks those, it's replicated into the cloud. There's a whole monitoring system to make sure that's working fine, and that's great. But you probably still should have an extra layer of backup on your QuickBooks company file. It's so easy to do, and it makes it easy to self-help if something goes wrong. You make a, a series of errors on the company file and you want to roll back, it makes it super easy. So let me show you how to do that. So first, let me just show you how to make a one-off backup, and then let me show you how to make it so that QuickBooks will just automatically back up every time you close the program. All right, here we go. So go to the File menu and select Backup Company and create a local backup. Select Local Backup and go Next. And then you type in the path of where you want the backup to go. This can be on your local computer if your QuickBooks company file is on a server or on a server if your company file is local to your computer. You don't want to back up to the same target where the data is already. That just makes sense. We'll talk about all these options later, but in general you want to leave the defaults. And then click OK. Oh, you'll get this warning if you're backing up to the same file or drive that your company file is on. Since this is a test company file, that's the case. But we're just going to go forward. So then you're ready to make the backup. So click Next and Save. Since we had left the integrity check box checked, it ran a quick company file integrity check before running the backup. Now it's telling us where the backup is. It defaults to giving the backup file the name of your QuickBooks company file and then the date the backup was made. Perfect. So, as it turns out, you can set QuickBooks to make this backup on a regular basis. And that is a great idea because then it takes the human error out of it. Same place. Go to the file menu, select backup company file, create local backup, select next, wait, select options, and then here you'll notice these options. So remind me to backup my company file when I close um, the computer. So you'll notice this option here, remind me to backup when I close my company file every X number of times. So you can crank this number down to one if you want to be really paranoid and every time you close the company file it asks you, it prompts you if you want to make a backup. So we'll do that right now. Um, and then up here, uh, there you have the option of limiting the number of backup instances to keep. So the default is three, I think that's too low. Um, I personally would like to be able to go back um, farther than just three backups because what if there, an error was occurred in the company file and you didn't discover it right away and then your backups rolled off and you weren't able to go back. So I think that this number should be uh, between 12 and 20. So I'm just going to put 12 here. Under most circumstances, unless your company file is huge, which is also a problem and should be addressed talk about that in a separate video. Um, <clears throat> 12 backups to your company file shouldn't be a problem at all. So then leave this complete verification turned on because QuickBooks, well, just before it runs the backup, will do a verify of your company file. And then click OK. Again, since I'm using the um, sample data, the company file is on the same drive. So it's warning me that this is a bad idea and then finish. So now you can see it's running the data integrity check. And now it's running the backup. It tells me the file name. Okay, I'm done. So now you have a backup between you and disaster. How cool is that? 